Good God's morning to you. I pray that you all are having a blessed day. For it is what? Another day? That's right. The Lord is made and we will, we shall. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. So I'm happy that you are uh, decided to join me this morning as we see what the Lord is saying to us on this morning. Amen. Amen. Well, let's get our scripture for this morning. Our scripture is going to be coming from 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. And it says, Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? Let me say it again. It says, Don't you know that you are you yourselves? Our God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you. Let me read it one more time. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? Well, Quite simple as it says, quite simple as it's read, that we must understand and we must know that we are God's temple, that we that our body is the temple uh, for the Spirit of God to dwell. And I want to ask you, you know, this morning that if we know that our bodies are the temples, we know that um, we we are the hub. For the spirit of God to dwell. Then why do we not treat the hub. With more respect. Think about it. We'll treat the church building. The house of the Lord. With more respect. With more reverence. Of what we bring into it. What we do inside of it. Than we do our own body. And according to the scripture, the Bible says that our bodies, us, ourselves, are the temple where the Spirit of God lives in us. So why are we treating ourselves with more respect? That means not letting any and everybody, you know, disrespect it, including ourselves, huh? Not not in, engaging in things that will, you know, that you wouldn't do at the church building. Hello, come on, let's 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 bring reference to it now. Let's 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 give us a, a center point where we can look, we can really see that. Listen, if I'll treat this building that I go to to worship with more respect, with more um, reverence than I would the body that I live in each day, that that is with me all the time, I'll treat that building more, with more respect and reverence than I do my body. Something is wrong with that. Something is wrong with that. Beloved, we've got to take care of ourselves. On top of whatever else is going on in our, in, in around this world, we don't treat ourselves with the, the dignity, with the respect, and with the honor that we should. Because our bodies is, is the temple. Our bodies is the place where the Spirit of God resides. Our body is, is, is that place that we should honor and respect. So, today, make up in your mind. We've been talking in Bible study about making choices. You know, the decision is yours. Making choices, making making conscious decisions that, you know, I'm going to do better. And because I'm going to do better and I made the choice to do better, it's a continuous process. I've got to treat my body with respect. I've got to treat, you know, um, the temple, my body. You know, I've got, to, I've got to eat right. I've got to exercise. God wants us to be fit for the kingdom. Come on, somebody. God wants us to be, and not just not just this physical, you know, preparation and, and dealing with it, but spiritual as well. 
in the house of God, in, in the church, in the building. What do we do in the house of God? Don't we come and we praise and we give God glory and we, we honor him and we exalt him and, you know, we, we read the word and we hear the word of God. So why is it in our temple we aren't taking in the word of God? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Why aren't, why, why, why are we not taking in the word of God, reading the word of God, letting it, it, it marinate and saturate in our hearts and our minds. He said, thy word have I hid in my heart. Why are we not doing that? Why are we not taking time to cleanse ourselves? We'll clean the church. We ain't trying to cleanse ourselves. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right. Well, I think I've said enough. Hopefully, you've got my point. Hopefully, you, you're hearing the Spirit of God, because this is not my words. These are the Lord's words. This is what he's given for today. God wants us to do better. All, you know, at the end of the day, we, we have got to do better about how we do ourselves. Amen? Amen. All right. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. God, for this day, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this opportunity, God, to commune with you. And Father, we thank you for your word, oh God, that 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 brought life to us this morning. God, to say that we, we've got to do better with our bodies, with our temples, because our temples are the dwelling place for the Spirit of God. Lord, help us, God. For some of us, it's not easy to to change some things and change some habits for the good. But God, give us strength, God, that we're needing in order to make these changes, in order to do better. For God, we really want to be better. I truly believe that the people of God want to be better. And so, Lord, if they ask you today for help and guidance, God, I pray now that you're giving it to them. God, so that we can make our temples and we can have the best temple God, that, 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 that the Holy Spirit doesn't mind residing in. The Holy Spirit doesn't mind living in. The Holy Spirit doesn't mind dwelling in. Lord, we thank you for the fellowship of our brothers and sisters that shall watch this and that are watching now. God, I ask you just to look upon them, oh God, and help them, oh God. Help us, God. Help us, Lord. Hear our prayer, oh God. For, Lord, we need you in more than one way. And so, God, and some of us need you in different ways than the other. But, God, I know that you're able to do that. There's nothing impossible for you. So, God, we thank you right now. We ask your blessing upon us throughout this day, oh God, to help us continue to keep in our mind and keep focused, you know, that our bodies are the temples. And so we got to treat it better. We got to treat it good. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise, glory, and honor for all things. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen and amen. Well, good God's morning to all of you. Amen. Sister Graham, God bless you. Sister Woods, God bless you too. Amen. To the rest of you that are on that I cannot see right now, God bless you. Um, you all have a great day. And let's treat our bodies better. Amen. Let's treat our temples better, okay? Just like we, we need to do things on the physical, we need to do things on the spiritual as well. So make sure you're feeding your spirit. Make sure you're feeding your temple, putting good things in. All right? All right. Well, God bless you all. Y'all have a great day. And we will see you, what, tomorrow, same time, same place, for another good God's morning. Okay? All right. Well, God bless you. Good God's morning to you. We'll see you tomorrow.